we begin today with our community corner and we're talking about heart health. That's because it's the leading cause of death in our country and it is something that requires our attention all year long. Knowing your resources to leading a heart healthy lifestyle is one step towards wellness. This is something that we here at KTBB all know too well with the recent passing of our station family member, Larry Gebert. So joining us, we have the American Heart Association, we have Megan Waller, and also we have KTB family member, Julie Gebert, to tell us more. So let's begin our conversation this morning, ladies, by talking about first the American Heart Association. So what are you, what do you do, and how can you help those watching today? Sure, so the American Heart Association is the world's largest and oldest voluntary health organization dedicated to preventing cardiovascular disease and stroke. We've existed since 1924, so we're coming up on our centennial, which we're really excited about. But I think a lot of people think of AHA as this big national organization that's mm -hmm. been responsible for so much research and life-saving discoveries, which we absolutely are. But what I'm hoping to do as the new executive director is really promote what we're doing here in Idaho that's yes. benefiting Idahoans locally. And I'll give you just a few examples. So last year, we reached 26,000 patients with our self-monitoring blood pressure program. That was in partnership with Full Circle Health, formerly FMRI. And we also implemented a nutrition security program with Terry Riley Health Services. Along with our advocacy work we do with our legislature and teaching CPR, so mm -hmm. many things. Mm -hmm. um, but what I think we're most thrilled about is our newest volunteer. Oh, absolutely. And Julie, Thank you. you're part of the KTBB family. So help us understand, you know, what does the American Heart Association mean to you and your family? So I just want to get the word out about being heart healthy. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that Larry would have been there right behind it all too if he would have had a chance. Unfortunately, he didn't have a chance. So I'm here to send a message to everyone to please be heart healthy, take care of your body, be kind to your heart, don't take your heart for granted. Yes, and we know too, like you had mentioned, that Larry would be here with you today promoting yep. this because Absolutely. he gave back to the community in such a huge way. He had a huge heart. He did. Yes, he did. He did. Um, and, and when it comes to being heart healthy though, and your, your goal here today, Julie, is building that awareness, right? And that is probably the first step truly to making sure that we are heart healthy and that we are taking this seriously is just making sure that we all know what are the red flags, what are the signs yes. that we might be dealing with something and, and what are those, Megan? You might look for some of the, the FACE is an acronym that we use. Okay. So that's F-A-C-E, mm -hmm. so FACE, ARM, um, I'm blanking on C and E. I'm yes. week five. I'm week five on the job, so I'm. But there so are there are signs though. There are red flags that yes. we can all be aware of to make sure that we're paying attention because sometimes these symptoms, they can be subtle to where we're like, oh, you know, it's just anxiety, mm -hmm. or I'm stressed out, or I ate something bad, you know, and it's easy to pass off some of these symptoms, uh, but when they keep reoccurring, and then when you really start seeing some big impacts. You need to pay attention and sometimes you know that's maybe a family member that's aware mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and kind of keeping an eye on these symptoms and going you know what maybe maybe you should get that looked at mm -hmm. because there seems to be a pattern right I mean Julie's you're shaking your head you're like mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yes is this something that that you can kind of relate to absolutely um honestly in hindsight yeah he, he had a little warning sign about two weeks prior to his his um, heart attack. Mm. He woke up in the middle of the night, felt a shoulder pain, kind of didn't feel good. He rolled over and it went away. And then he said that morning, he goes, I almost got you up to take me to the hospital because I think I was having a heart attack. I'm not too sure, but it went away, so I'm okay, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm like, and so all these little things in hindsight, yeah. um, circulation, mm -hmm. hands, legs, feet, coloration, mm -hmm. all these things that he had struggled with thinking they were something else, you know, because he had prostate mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. He's a survivor. Um, so we thought maybe it had something to do with that, you know, taking lymph nodes out. That could be that. But honestly, I really feel that I think he had been struggling with a heart issue for quite a while. Mm -hmm. His blood pressure was good. Mm -hmm. His sugar levels were good, and it just came so unexpectedly. And that's what I'm here to say, that 
heed the warning signs. Yes. Take care of your body. Mm -hmm. When things like this happen, some people have a second chance. Yeah. Others don't. Yeah. And that's why I'm here to get the message out. Please be cautious of your body. Yes. And be heart healthy. And, and your point is so important because like you said, you know, you're noting in your head, you noticed, mm -hmm. you remembered that list, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's so easy when we give so much to everybody else, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think we hear this conversation quite often when it comes to heart health, that it's usually the givers, it's those that are doing so much for others that just kind of dismiss mm -hmm. the things mm -hmm. happening with them. They're mm -hmm. like, I'm fine, yeah. I'm strong, I'm good, I got it. You know, like yeah. you said, Larry said, yeah. I almost yeah. had you take me to the hospital. Yep. But, but he's probably was like, you know what? I gotta get to work, I got yep. this responsibility, I gotta give back to this person. I said I was gonna help so-and-so today, yep. and that took precedent. Absolutely, right? yeah. 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 He, he, um, you know, he had a heart of gold, mm -hmm. and he's sending a message right now. Take care of yourself. Yes. Watch the warning signs. Yes. Thank you, Julie. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being, You're welcome. Strong, being here today. Yes. And as mentioned, American Heart Association, the perfect resource, so we know those warning signs. Uh, so you know also to how to manage your lifestyle and start living a healthy life right now when it comes to heart health, mm -hmm. diet, exercise, but also it's a community thing too as well because as mentioned, you may ignore your signs and then that's where we can lean in as family mm -hmm. and friends to kind of note and say, hey, this might be something you want to pay attention to. So where can people go though so they can find the website, they can start reading about those resources and start taking the steps towards heart health for themselves? People can go to heart.org slash Idaho and you can also find a lot of resources on the national AHA website. Wonderful, but important like you had mentioned to really take advantage of the stuff that's happening here locally in our state to make sure Idaho remains healthy. Julie, thank you again. Thank really you.